Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to machine some countersinks in this hunk of S7 tool steel. Let's see how that goes. I just got the weapon back from the water jet company for my 30 pound combat robot crippling depression and here is the actual weapon itself it looks really nice turned out good it is a single tooth kind of offset pattern so this will actually ride very close to the ground it'll ride uh, an eighth of an inch or a sixteenth of an inch off the ground like that therefore all the mounting holes need to be countersunk into the weapon so that's really the only machining i have to do on this other than maybe some balancing and whatnot um, but these are low profile head countersunk bolts they sit in there like that and i need to make sure that these are flush additionally the um, weapon hub connects something like that this is the pulley you saw me make in a previous video um, this is a countersunk bolt that actually goes through this also through the hub and through the bearings and everything this needs to be countersunk as well so all four of these holes need different countersinks i need a low profile for these guys and then a standard one for the center so i'm going to put this on the mill and see if i can't machine some countersinks into this Instead of indicating every single hole, or really even indicating the holes, I'm just kind of cheating a little bit. I have a 3 8 inch rod. I've already drilled out the weapon for the 3 8 inch holes, so I'm just kind of lining up the 3 8 inch rod that's mounted in the spindle with the hole, and then clamping it down, and that gives me my 0, zero coordinate. S7 is a really strong tool steel that's commonly used as weapons in combat robotics because it's really hard, it's really strong, and it's really good at impact resistance. So I'm curious to see how this is going to machine. I've heard that before it's hardened, it can actually be machined relatively easily. So hopefully the uh, 440 is up to the task. I'm using the same five flute end mills that I used to machine the titanium weapon on my one pound combat robot. And I'm using generally the same feeds and speeds. I'm just going really slow with the feed rate and really slow with the RPM. And I'm doing a very small step over. Even though this first hole turned out okay, it was running really noisy, there was a lot of screeching, and it was just didn't really sound that great. So I needed to make some adjustments for the next holes. So I just kind of repositioned everything, used the rod once again to line up the next hole. And this has a slightly different cam program because it's a shallower hole. This is for the low profile countersink. The second hole turned out just fine, so I ended up using that same program for the third and the fourth hole, and I just um, repeated the same process, used the same program, and it actually went pretty quickly after I got the feeds and speeds dialed in. I was initially doing 1500 RPM, 10 inches per minute with a 15 thou step over. And this is for a 5 16 inch 5 flute end mill. And that was the very conservative uh, feeds and speeds I was using on the titanium that I ended up almost doubling. With this, I needed to slow it way down. I actually ended up going down to about 8 or 900 RPM and then doing only 5 inches per minute on the feed. That actually cut down a lot of the screeching, cut down a lot of the squealing, and um, that actually provided a pretty decent cut, albeit extremely slow. Here is the weapon disc with the four countersinks. And just to check everything out, these all look like they fit just fine. So they're supposed to be just below the surface. I already checked this one, so everything looks good. I've previously machined 4140 and titanium. I think those are probably the hardest materials I've ever machined on the Tormach 440. And those actually both cut really well. I had a little bit of an issue with the 440 because I wasn't using coolant. I really should have been using coolant and I should have been using a different end mill. But the titanium, once I fixed all that, the titanium machined fantastic. So 
The S7 is a little different. The S7 is a lot harder. You have to go a lot slower. And I know for me personally, for upcoming designs, I'm going to limit the amount of machining I have to do with S7. I'm probably going to keep using S7 for weapons and things like that, but I will probably limit it to just basic countersinking and things like that because it is really tricky to work with in a really hard material. So just my personal preference, I will probably keep the S7 to water jet or possibly outsourcing it and just do little touch up things like that. So hopefully this video gives you a little bit better idea of what it's like to machine S7 on a machine like the Tormach 440. If you like my videos and like my channel, please check me out on my Facebook page or check out my Patreon page to not only support me or just to check out the other channels that I support. Thanks for watching.